Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that there's been a pandemic going on. COVID-19 is a virus that spreads from person to person through direct, indirect, and close contact with infected people. And in general, that's how most infectious diseases spread. So clearly, the way to stop the spread of a virus is by preventing the physical interaction between people. But considering that there have been 29,015,690 confirmed cases worldwide as of September the 13th, you know it's not that simple. Humans are social animals. We need the company from others to stay happy and healthy. It's also essential for situations like school and work, which has been handled through the advent of online meetings and video calls. However, things such as grocery shopping and parcel deliveries are still an issue. A possible solution is by using drones. Why drones? Aerial drones and land drones can be used to deliver or transport products and minimize interaction between people. So, how does it work? Customers will order through an app or website. The orders will be sent to respective companies. Then the products will be delivered to the drone warehouse. After that, the workers will pack the packages for respective drones and deliver the packages to the customers. These drones are specific. Each are meant for their own applications. Amazon Prime Air is for fast deliver of small packages while UPS are for larger shipments. For land drones, Tyson Krabs drones are meant for heavy and fast deliveries. Starship is a budget option. Considering their specs are on the lower end, in a nutshell, aerial drones are used for light and small packages and learn drones are used for heavier and bigger packages. So where does this leave us? Well, with COVID-19, the e-commerce market in Malaysia is growing. The need for products to be delivered, whether it be food, household needs, or masks, increases. Hence, increasing the amount of delivery men roaming around the country, which could become a vessel for the virus to spread even more. This leads me to my first point. It lowers the risk of getting infected by COVID-19 by person-to-person -person transmission. After all, robots can't be infected, but delivery men can. It will most likely be cheaper for the consumer because you won't have to pay for the delivery men, which equals smaller shipping fees. It will also reduce carbon emissions since drones are battery powered. Last but not least, it saves time for everyone, mostly for, for aerial drones, as they need not to worry about traffic issues. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.